So today I thought I would do a planner walkthrough with you. Um, this is kind of a first impressions because I haven't even opened this yet. As you can see, it's still in box. I purchased this from Kiki K. It is part of their travel line. So that's why I was so interested in purchasing it because I'm just obsessed with anything travel related in the planner world. When I saw this online, it looked a little bit like the Kate Spade zip around sort of planner, but except this was in blue, I thought I would open it up and see how I go. So for those of you who are curious, it is $84.95. I'm just going to try and bring this up, see if it focuses. That's Australian. I find it interesting that the US price is exactly the same as the Australian price. As you can see, there's this like beautiful silver merit box that it's in, which I didn't even realize when I was purchasing it. So I thought that was a really nice touch. And then we have the planner. I'm going to put that box aside. And I'll move this. And it comes always in tissue paper, so I'll just take this off. Oh, yep, I can never do this right. Very inelegant. And there is the planner. I already love the size. I love the color. I have seen some photos in the planner community where some of the Kiki K planners that have this kind of foiling on them, the foiling does can sort of rub off after a while, so I'll keep that in mind. I'm hoping that those are just for more specific, maybe journals that are a little bit more defective and hopefully it's not a general thing but I guess we'll find out over time okay so let's open it up oh my goodness I'm so happy because one of the I'm pretty sure these rings are small let me just get oh it is let me just get one of my older planners so one of the things I never love about Kiki K planners, which is why I don't use them as much as I wish I could, is because the rings are usually so big and I hate big rings because it just makes it really hard to write in the planner. But these one look actually smaller. So here is an older one, which I love this one as well, but I hate that the rings are huge. So let's see if I can compare them. Yeah, the rings definitely look smaller. Oh, I'm so happy. That's always a risk because they change the sizes of the rings quite a bit between each planner, so you never really know what you're going to get. But, okay, so we've got this notepad here, this typical Kiki K little pamphlet, so you've got to we'll pull this out. So you have two card holders, place for your notepad, space to put some paper back there, you've got a pen holder, and there's no pockets back here, and... I'm going to take off, this. got this plastic wrap around the inserts, so I'll take that off. And, ooh, you've got some stickers. And some label stickers for these. Okay. Your personal information. Some overall travel budget. So this is really for traveling, for like planning your travels. I love that they have um, basically some travel tips that they have here. That will be an interesting read later on. More travel budgeting, budgeting, budgeting. Travel expenses. Um, some flights. And costs, getting around. Probably like taxis and stuff like that. Public transport. And accommodation. Then you've got your itinerary. Wonder often. Yes. My itinerary... I'm not sure if I'll actually use any of these inserts, to be honest. I mean, they're great, but I don't typically plan my travel in books like this. I plan them on spreadsheets, so they may not be as functional for me. I was more looking for the actual planner book. I really wanted that. Oh, I like these monthly views. They're very small but concise, and you can cover two... You can cover one and a half months in here. Yeah, and you've got some note paper. Ooh, more tips and tricks. It's be interesting read. Ooh, they've got a checklist for hand luggage. That's going to be really... I think this is really useful, especially for people who maybe don't travel as often. And a suggested packing list. This is kind of cool. And then, of course, they give you your own to-do lists. I do like this style. And then journal section, which is just a lot of line date pages that you can use. And some blank pages, the world is waiting, more journal pages. And that's pretty much the entire journal. So yeah, I mean, there wasn't much to go through. First impressions, I love it. 
I love the color. I'm always much more of a cool tone person, so I love silver with blue. It's kind of my favorite combination. And it's just trying to see if it lays flat. It doesn't completely lay flat, but it is very new, so that could be why. And I love the size of it, and I love the zip around because I feel like I can put documents and papers here and they won't fall out. Like, you don't need to stress about that happening, so I can take this to work with me or maybe travel. Not sure I would take it traveling. I feel like, oops, I almost threw it off the table. It's not heavy, but it's not light. And when I travel, I tend to go for things that are super light, unless they are incredibly functional, then I'll sacrifice the weight, kind of like with my laptop if I'm traveling. <laughs> I think my laptop is probably the heaviest thing I carry with me, and mine's still a little laptop. Anyways, I really hope you found this video useful. Let me know if there are any other planners you'd like me to check out for you guys and test them out, because I would love to do that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to you, internet.